Everybody loves their pets, but sometimes their pets don't love them back because these animals were never meant to be owned. Number 12. Customers at a popular hardware store chain are confused and surprised when a monkey enters. It puts its hands up to a random stranger like a small child would, but when they grab its hand, it climbs up her arm and doesn't want to let go, though this moment is barely blocked out by a customer. According to a witness, it got scared by an automatic door. I can hear the door finish opening for a split second as the video starts, right before its scream of surprise. The owner was only given a simple fine for accidentally letting the animal get loose from her car. And get this, the same pet was responsible for doing something similar to a cashier at the same store not long before this happened. So tell me, based on this video, if you think this was enough of a punishment, or if she should surrender her pet monkey. Number 11. Madison Township Police head to an Ohio home to investigate a rather unusual call. They open the basement door and to their terrified amusement, discover the alligator allegations are true. Apparently, a man named Dusty Rhodes has been housing this 5-foot reptile for the past 25 years and has quite the setup. A special pump connected to a garden house keeps the water fresh, but the water level barely comes up to its feet. Definitely not enough in my opinion, though I'm not an expert. Besides, keeping any amount of water in the basement can't be good for the structural integrity of the house. It's hard to believe he was able to keep this a secret from the outside world for over two decades. Only when Dusty needed medical attention did the paramedics find this gator in his basement and reported it to authorities, who keeps its head straight and jaws at a distance with a big white stick while lowering it into a crate. The jaws are wide open the whole time, and there's no doubt it will charge them if anyone loses their grip. Thankfully, it was taken to a reservation where it could live a normal life life. Which brings me to the final point. Owning one of these animals is actually legal in Ohio, so if you have an exotic animal permit, which Dusty did not, the alligator was in average health, but do you think these living conditions should be legal? After seeing this video, I'm not so sure. Number 10. Known only as the Hyena Man, this fearless animal tamer has befriended a pack of wild hyenas outside of the Ethiopian city of Hara. He makes a special noise when it's time for them to take a bite. They keep a safe distance and wait to be fed, immediately retreating afterwards. Somehow, he has convinced them that he is stronger than all of them combined. Then again, maybe they know, maybe they know that if they don't listen, they won't get more food. Either way, just to show how gentle they can be, Hyena Man puts a hunk of meat at the end of the stick and bites down. He even moves it away no less than three times to further assert dominance, and the hyena does not act aggressively at all. Well, not a pet per se. He has definitely captured their loyalty and is their owner in this regard. Number 9. A pet snapping turtle doesn't take kindly to its owners and already has its mouth open. The warning sign goes unheeded, but thankfully one of his friends inadvertently saves him by getting his attentions moments before this happens. He said, what's up? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ah! This was almost a solid chunk of flesh taken out of his face and a trip for medical attention for certain. Number 8. With a pair of tweezers in one hand and a bucket in the other, Rory Schumach approaches Lacey, a pet monitor lizard with a tick that needs to be carefully removed. The sun is in his eyes and he's too busy looking for the tick to pay attention to the other end. I'm sure you saw Lacey's jaws, but it also tried to whip him in the face with its tail. After watching this failed attempt, I would probably have a professional vet perform a tick removal, but tell me if you can think of a better way. Number 7. 
a YouTube channel called Raw Fishing sees something scary looking lurking in the grass nearby. Take a look at it and tell me if you would have the courage to charge at it and turn it over like he does. The creature is called an isopod, and its biggest defense is its hard shell. The legs and mouth look scary, but actually can't do anything to people, at least not directly. Taking it to a public restaurant, on the other hand, probably wasn't such a good idea. It's pretty funny and all, but I wouldn't want to eat anything after touching what essentially just came from a drainage pipe full of bacteria. I really hope the servers wipe down the high chair and table afterwards too. Speaking of which, at 10 minutes and 27 seconds, this fry makes possible contact with the creature's face, which she then dips and brings to her mouth. Is there any way to get a parasite from doing this? It's probably not likely, but I wouldn't want to take the chance. Number 6 Oh, oh my god, this is so gross. I'm trying to look it up everywhere and I really can't like identify it because it looks so weird and different. A YouTuber named Supa Tanks has a creepy unwelcomed guest in her aquarium and needs our help figuring out what it is. Someone commented that this looks like a highly toxic centipede that fell in, but Supa Tank thinks that this might be an aquatic-based life form responsible for eating her shrimp. I agree with the giant insect theory because of its many legs and cylinder-shaped body, but maybe it's an exotic parasite or something even worse. Let's help solve this mystery and put her mind at ease with a correct answer. Number 5 You see this key? This key is going to save my life. A YouTube channel called Snake Hunters TV takes a risky challenge by locking himself in with a Burmese python and hides the key. He hides the key and shuts the locked tank door behind himself. Now it's up to his daughter Carista to save his life. The snake senses a new object is near and starts flicking its tongue, trying to sense if it's food. Lock me in. <laughs> Lock me in. Am I locked in? Yep. I can't get out. He knows not to make any sudden movements or else the snake will react. He has to stay calm. When the snake gets in his lap, he knows he's in trouble and has to slowly stretch his legs out without panicking. By the end of the challenge, he's huddled in the corner with the snake pushed as far away as the claustrophobic tank allows. I'm thinking they fed the snake before making the video to make it less likely to be hostile because it hardly seems interested in him by the time he leaves. But hungry or not, crawling into the den of a 12-foot python is one challenge I could never take. Number 4 a YouTube channel called Barb's Buzzin takes a chance buying a fish off the dark web. Whoever sent this blacked out the bags so we can't see what's inside. Anything could be in there, maybe even something dangerous, or maybe it's just sensitive to light? At first, it looks like nothing is there, but then they almost pour the slimy mystery pet onto the floor by accident. Get it done quick. There's no fish in here. There's no fish. There's nothing in this! What the f They aren't sure if it's even alive until they see a tiny circular object moving in the center. They think this could be a shark egg, but I just want to be sure, so take a look and let me know what you think this bizarre gift could be. Absolutely insane. Look at his head right there. He's, le he's legit That's swimming, cool swimming around. I definitely see a striped tail at the very end. So maybe it is a shark, and not something super nefarious after all. Number 3 Terence lives here, but I'm not going to reveal him. At least not yet. Take a look at his enclosure and give me your best guess as to what kind of pet Terence is. There's a green structure for shelter and a piece of banana. So maybe Terence is some kind of fruit-eating lizard, right? Well, there's no heat rock, so if a lizard was your guess, 
It was a good one, but no. Likewise, Terrence the Tarantula has a nice ring to it, but the bandana is not spider food, so that's a no-go as well. Okay, I'll tell you, Terrence is the giant hissing cockroach of your nightmares. This creepy pet spans across all four fingers, and its backside still hangs over the end. Someone please tell me this roach is as big as it gets, because I can't imagine a larger one, or why someone would actually own this as a pet. Could you ever see yourself getting attached to Terrence? Because Terrence will gladly attach itself to you. Number 2. Steph J wants to make an interestingly artistic video to which she succeeds, but at what cost? The cockroaches refuse to go on her cheeks and instead congregate on her lips, nose, and almost one goes tapping across her eye. It happens again approximately one minute later, and she has to stop recording to move it. You have to admire her composure and perseverance as she finally gets the shot she wants. One scream and these oversized pet bugs are in her mouth. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1 to anyone who speaks Russian, here's a conversation I wish I could understand. <laughs> As if standing near a tiger isn't a bad enough idea already, he crouches down and makes a hissing noise. <laughs> Thankfully, it's too busy taking a drink and doesn't seem to notice, or at least doesn't seem to care. It's either been very well trained, or else I guess a single human isn't much of a concern when you're that big. Keep your guard up. Each of these videos has a scary surprise that I bet you won't see coming.